Hello, sinners. It is I, Father Next Evil, time, and I invite you to the Destination Station on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Bagels can go to Destination Station. This buddy is the bomb. Yep. Loving. Yep. Fucking A. Yep. I had to say that for a reason. Freddy, take that, motherfucker. All right. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie Kennedy. Subscribe to my man, Destination Station, right now. If you want the best content. News just keeps getting worse and worse for Scream 7. We got Jenna Ortega now that has dropped out of uh, Scream 7 due to scheduling conflicts, which I'm not buying it and I doubt anybody else is, especially that she does this the day after Melissa Barrera is fired by Spyglass. And uh, uh, it seems to me that uh, Jenna is just standing by Melissa Barrera, but kind of... Um, distancing herself from spyglass and the whole entire project but not being very vocal about it just using the scheduling conflicts as a way out a cop out you know i don't want to call it a cop out i actually uh respect what jenna ortega and melissa brera are doing right now uh i think spyglass is an ass <laughs> got a video about that coming out later but uh, but yeah this is just devastating news and i also have been seeing a lot of like rumors it's not confirmed or anything but uh, Jasmine Savoy Brown is considering uh, dropping out as well. So this is just like a domino effect here, you know. It, it, I, I mean, um, Mason Gooding could be the next one as well, or he could be the only one to return. But there's also talks about a new creative turn on the entire project, and uh, it's it's not confirmed, but rumor has it that that the studio has reached out to. Uh, Nev Campbell and Patrick Dempsey as like this to bring it back, you know, like bring back the entire uh, uh, original cast, the OGs, you know, we had uh, Patrick Dempsey as Mark Kincaid in Scream 3. I, I mean, they've been trying to get him back since Scream 5, so so maybe with him, you know, coming back in the in, in the in the horror community, you know, recently with Thanksgiving. Um, uh, maybe this could happen. Maybe this could really happen, and maybe Nev Campbell can actually get her uh, her number that she deserves as a uh, as an actress that has carried this entire franchise. But I'm not saying that I want it done like this. I see a lot of people boycotting Scream Seven, and 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 I understand that. I really do, and I respect that decision. It, it, it's it's a double edged sword for me. Um, uh, because you know if Nev Campbell does come back it's like she it, you now you want to support Nev Campbell but not the actual project you know so um, if that is the case a way that they could take this entire and I'm gonna make a more in-depth video about this this is all just devastating news and the writers have some work to do <laughs> so and that really sucks but um, it always seems like the third movie of this franchise, you know, always goes through some type of big turmoil, like in Scream 3, how they had to redo the entire script and everything. So so we might get a lot of fan service, where, you know, fingers crossed for Stu Mocker and stuff like that. But Melissa Barrera is such a beautiful and young, talent, talented actress. So is Jen Ortega and everybody else involved. You know, I sympathize with them. I really do. I think Spyglass is an ass. But one way that I could see them possibly... Uh, wrapping this up and then maybe like drifting back to uh, the original OG screams, you know? Um, uh, hey, let me get to the damn fucking part. Maybe they show the end of Scream 6, how they throw down the mat, and Melissa throws down the mask, or Sam throws down the mask, and they're walking away and they say cut, and they make it seem like it's a movie within a movie, you know? That could be, you know, make it seem like it's kind of a stab movie within a movie or something, you know? They could take that approach. I think that's a little bit disrespectful for everything we built here. 
Uh, but that could bring up also opportunities of bringing David Arquette back, Dewey, uh, and all a, a lot more of the past cast, you know. Uh, and we, and, you know, it'd be crazy if we're like on the set of another Stab movie or something similar to like Scream 3. There's ways that they could be creative and do this, you know, and, and make it fun. It's just, do you want to support it, especially with what has happened here? I'm hearing both sides of the whole situation. I've read the remarks, uh, the comments that Melissa Brer put out online. Um, I think they are... Uh, they're being. I, I think. I think this was a cop out for the studio. I think they were looking for a reason to do this. In my opinion, I think there's more stuff going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. You know, we're only being told. You know, half of it, or maybe even a part of it. We don't know what else is going on behind the scenes. But uh, that doesn't seem like it should have been up for just firing from the entire project. And now it's like Spyglass has shot themselves in the foot. Uh, because this is a domino effect and you're losing all your main cast and uh, now what are you gonna do you know I've seen some comments saying that they're not gonna have they'll be able to keep some twist and some uh, set pieces or whatever but still it, it these are your leads of your movie and they've both dropped out and even if even if they change their mind even if they change their mind they want Let's say that they changed their mind and Melissa Barrera is back on and they came with a deal or something. That doesn't mean Jenna Ortega is coming back. She has scheduling conflicts and stuff. So, um, so yeah, this is just this just sucks. This that, just call a spade a spade. This fucking sucks. And I hope that we can do something here. And, and, and you know, and, and when I say like a double edged sword, it's like it sucks for Melissa Barrera. But if they start. You know, giving us Nev Campbell and Patrick Dempsey and uh, um, uh, Matthew Lillard, you know, Stu Mocker and all this kind of stuff. It's like you almost, you don't want to support Spyglass, but you want to support Nev Campbell, you know, and she's actually getting what she deserves, but not in this light, not this way. And it really does suck. Anyways, that's my two cents on this. Making a Monday morning video. I love you guys. I miss you. Uh, this Friday night, 10 p.m. Central, Screen Talk is back. We got a lot to talk about. We're going to keep it going. I've been missing it in my life. I hope you've been missing it too because I'm ready to talk some Scream. Uh, we, got, we got some news. It's not good news, but it's news. And uh, I'm here to present it to you. So I love you guys. Subscribe to Destination Station if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. I'll be right back.